five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Lift off. We have a lift off. We are trying to find some uh, optimal trajectories that uh, NASA is interested in. They want to send some uh, spacecraft missions to the Jupiter, to the Jupiter's moon. This grant is a um, collaboration with uh, uh, Georgia Institute of Technology and with Jet Propulsion Laboratory. It has uh, two objectives. One is uh, research and one is training of students uh, and uh, young scientists. Oh, I like um, astronomy since I was a kid and up to get my master degree in mathematics, so this is perfect stream for me to enter. This particular three-body problem is the Sun, Jupiter, and a comet that has been observed near both the Sun and Jupiter called Oterma. We sort of want to know how does Oterma move under the influence of gravity. I'm working on the trajectory design of a spacecraft close to the asteroid. There are uh, locations in space where the gravitational forces almost cancel each other. Uh, so the spacecraft would be like a, at an equilibrium. Uh, it's possible to find routes that they do not need any fuel for the spacecraft to follow those particular routes. Sometimes they are called like gravitational superhighways. But when you make a transition from one highway to another, you have to spend some fuel. And the idea is how to do it in an optimal way. This Arnold Division problem is really how to make large changes with uh, small perturbations. Like uh, when you're pushing a swing, uh, if you do it in the, with a proper timing, the amplitude of the swing uh, grows bigger and bigger. So now instead of uh, pushing the swing, you have the thrusters of the spacecraft but you have to do it at the proper timing in order to maximize the effect. I like it because before I did this, I was more like very theoretical math. There's a lot of theory behind it, but it's also, it's kind of interesting because we're talking about real life things. I think it's uh, quite exciting to, to see that uh, abstract mathematics that uh, you are actually teaching in the, in the classroom has uh, such powerful applications. I think this connection between research and teaching it's, uh, it's very important.